here's what's going on. I've got an old Raspberry Pi Model B Plus, I think, one of the first generation Raspberry Pis. It is running something called VBit, and it has a composite video output, which is going to a TV set, and it's producing uh, Teletext pages, CFAX pages, but not any old CFAX pages. <laughs> These are uh, modern, updated CFAX pages. So if I go to page one, one on this TV that has never the CFAX decoder on this TV has never been used before uh, we can see we've got current news headlines so I can pick a story uh, let's have a look at page 104 which is the main story and um, type in 104 there we go we get the news story uh, actually on the TV accessed via the remote control via uh, the teletext button Extraordinary. Slight modification to my uh, Raspberry Pi CFAX setup now. I've got it playing the radio through the speakers as well. So I've just installed MPC and MPD and got it streaming Fit Radio from Paris, which is my favourite radio station. So I can listen to some cool relaxing tunes while I browse CFAX, which is very nice. And just in case you think that this video signal is coming just out of the Raspberry Pi, it's really not. This is teletext that's being decoded by the TV. If I turn the teletext off, you can see the Raspberry Pi screen behind it in a rather hideous way. So that's the actual video output from the Raspberry Pi, and it's actually sending the CFAX, um, the teletext signals in the blanking lines at the top that you can't see. And then you press the teletext button on your TV, and you've got teletext and you can browse it and it's updated live from the internet and it's just amazing.